How to cook with honey recipe cooking with honey the healthy sweetener. If you want to be able to cook sweets without the negative health effects of refined sugar, honey is an excellent option. Among other reasons, honey is metabolized more slowly by your body, meaning that you are less likely to get a sugar high after eating something made with honey. Honey can be challenging to cook with, though, for several reasons. So many people don't cook with it because they don't know how. But once you know how to use honey in your favorite kitchen creations, it's not hard at all to use. The first challenge that honey presents is that it burns more easily than normal sugar. This problem is usually eliminated by doing your cooking or baking at a slightly lower heat. The main hurdle to cooking with honey is that it is a liquid. Replacing sugar with honey will ruin some recipes if you don't make an allowance for the extra liquid that the honey adds. Most muffins, simple quick breads, yeast breads, etc. you can make the substitution without any adjustment. Cakes, cookies and some other recipes you should decrease the amount of liquid in the recipe to account for the honey. Honey is also very easy to use in pies. Since they are already somewhat liquid, you can replace the sugar with honey. If the pie filling seems too runny, just add a little extra thickener before you pour it in your pie shell. The flavor of honey can sometimes be an issue, but not usually. If you are making a recipe that you don't want the flavor to be noticeable, there are several things you can try. First of all, get the mildest flavored honey you can. Usually that will be a very pale clover honey. The paler the honey, the sweeter and milder the flavor, in general. If necessary, you can use part honey, and part some other sweetener, such as apple juice concentrate, agave nectar, stevia, or even sugar if you have to. One of life's purest pleasures is a cup of steaming tea. Some like it pure but most like it sweet. Adding sugar is by far the most common way of sweetening tea. Common table sugar, sucrose, is comprised of fructose and glucose. While sugar satisfies a natural craving, it is not without its downside. Sugar is the quintessential source of energy in most foods, when digested, are metabolized by the body as basic sugar, glucose. It is a major source of calories in the diet. The body will save the excess energy in sugar as fat. While some stored fat is necessary, too much is undesirable and pose several health concerns especially for diabetics. Sugar also supports the growth of the bacteria that causes tooth decay. A healthier alternative is honey. Honey is one of the oldest sweeteners used by man and was highly valued by ancient Egyptians for its medicinal and healing properties. It is a sweet, usually viscous, liquid made by bees from flower nectar and stored in the cells of the hive for food. Consumed fresh or after processing, it is usually used as a nutritive sweetener. Honey is the ultimate in products derived from herbs. It's like liquid gold. Fashioned through an ingenious alliance between animal and plant kingdoms, honey delivers a diverse array of phytochemicals in one package. This bounty arrives courtesy of the industrious honeybee, who visits some 2 million flowers to manufacture just one pound of honey, said Dr. Gina Muhammad, a plant physiologist in Sault Ste. Marie, Canada. Honey blends exceptionally well with black and flavored teas and enhances its fragrance, added Kim Yong founder of Your Tea Place, an online tea site which focuses on tea and health. A study published in the Journal of Agricultural and Food Chemistry shows that the level of antioxidants of honey is comparable to that of many fruits and vegetables. And while you are unlikely to devour a cup of honey in lieu of broccoli, the golden liquid may be a respectable alternative to sugar and a healthy supplement to your diet. It has been found that honey lessens the ill effects of radiation therapy in patients with cancer of the head and neck, improves oral health, preserves food, boosts antioxidants and enhances athletic performance. Researchers at the University of Illinois studied 25 healthy men who consumed various combinations of hot water, buckwheat honey, black tea and sugar. They found that serum antioxidant capacity increased by 7% within two hours of ingesting two cups of hot water containing about four tablespoons of honey. Those antioxidants also help your arteries as it reduces oxidation of low-density lipoproteins, known as bad cholesterol, 
a benefit which likely thwarts development of atherosclerosis. The findings also show that many varieties are full of phenols and flavonoids, known cancer fighters even more powerful than vitamin E. So the next time you're having a cup of tea, do your health a favor by adding a spoonful of honey, nature's liquid gold. If you like more video again to do so right now for next.